when the hood, the doors on the rear and the, the roof, when they all peeled off, they all began with something as insignificant as that. Just a little nick in the paint. So I'm here to experiment and we'll see if I can actually get it to go. And it might seem odd that I'm actually trying to delaminate the paint, but the fact your paint's no good, I want it off. If I can get it split on its own accord back down to primer, that's a good thing. And it kind of took a couple months for it to fully peel off on the, on the roof and the doors and everything. So if I can start that process now, all the better to me. And it won't rust, not before I get to it when the weather warms up. And this should be another fun day, it's about 28 degrees out here. If this works, then yeah, that makes things better for me in the long run. Even though it'll look pretty bad in the short run. Alright, there you go, it did exactly what I thought it'd do. It's exactly what happened first time, little tiny nick and it starts coming off in sheets. And you look at that down here a little bit, all the way down the side there. All stripped the paint off. And you see that, that brown gray is the factory primer. The other gray is the stuff I did, just rattle can with sodium gray. But now so for the next couple months, I'll just come, keep coming back here, let mother nature do its job and do its trick on this paint. And I'll just keep stripping it and stripping it. You might think that's freaking crazy, but you know, I had a first sergeant a long time ago call me a weirdo, and that's not really changed ever since. The other stuff that's coming off, kind of a long-term coating test, it hasn't really lasted that long, has it? And it's scuffing up the chrome and then coating it with the same stuff I did the rocker panels to turn them black, because the chrome is for granddads. Yeah, that didn't last too long either. These things are not long for the trash. Once you look, this right here shows another issue. Don't ever use duplicolor paint. That white showing through was duplicolor color match to this truck. And it sucks. You can't paint over the top of it. The paint always delaminates from it too. Which means that grill is trash. And I found another spot on this side that's doing the same thing. Little tiny nick. Open it up. But that's also why at these quarter cranker washes, they tell you not to put the nozzle too close because this will happen. But especially with a truck like this, if you're not familiar with <clears throat> with what happened to paint formulation in the late 90s, early 90s, EPA made the auto industry change them. And the lighter colors, the white, the silver, the light blues, all of them do this on GM vehicles. They just delaminate from the primer. And it's because they changed the formulation because the EPA decided they were killing dolphins somewhere. But yeah, this is what I'm looking forward to, is getting this to peel off as much as possible. Matter of fact, when they did Linex on the roof, it peeled all the way down this pillar, which is probably why it stopped right at that line. Because that was fresh primer and fresh paint on top of what was the, the factory stuff. Had I listened to them at the time, I would have had the Linex guys bring it all the way down to that line anyway. But I didn't. I probably should have paid the extra couple hundred bucks and had the truck that much further along and that much easier to coat. But yeah, there's your quick Saturday update on what's going on with the a big beast. Yeah, I'm gonna go get it cleaned up for real. This is pretty freezing out here. It's freezing enough that again, when you see that on camera, that's already frozen over, iced over my mirror. I'm gonna go to my normal car wash and do the drive-through car wash and get everything cleaned up and dried off. But yeah, if you ever see that issue, you know what's going on. It's the paint formulation. There's nothing you can do about it but peel it all off. Or you can hit it with 80 grit sandpaper and spend hours upon hours of sanding it all down and off. Me, I'll let nature do its work. I'll keep coming back and keep hitting it. I'm not worried about rust. I'll get it recoated in the springtime when the temperatures warm up around here again. But yeah, so I got three, four months that I can just keep hitting it every week or two and see how much more I can get to peel off. Yeah, there's your little paint update on the on the big beast. See you guys on the next project. Thanks for watching.